Hi, beautiful. Today we're on the little. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Hi, beautiful. You look ravishing today. Thank you for being here. Today we're watching some people do horrible perms to themselves. Perms are not easy to do. They actually take a lot of patience and a lot of time. You need a good amount of education to do them correctly. There's all kinds of things that go on with a perm. A lot of chemical reactions. And if you don't do it right, you'll end up with really gross frizzy hair that is half curly and half straight. Doing a perm at home as a person with no experience is sketchy. Let's not do that. And you'll see why today you should definitely not do it if you're not already convinced. Let's watch some people do some perms and absolutely ruin their hair. Let's do it. First up, we have a video by a channel called a Brendan and Caroline. This is called Perming My Own Hair at Home Fail. I am gonna perm my own hair. Why the hell is the instructions written on the inside of the box? That's quite a common thing to write the directions on the inside of the box for perms. I don't know why. Who's gonna take apart a box to read directions? Gently shampoo hair with clarifying shampoo and towel dry. And we're back. Good, we did step one correctly. I didn't use any conditioner. I also didn't use clarifying shampoo it's because I don't have any. I just use normal shampoo. Girl, they didn't say use clarifying shampoo for literally no reason. Clarifying shampoo helps get rid of all the dirt and oils off of your hair strand. That way it's ready to absorb all of the chemicals that you put on it with the perm solution. So not clarifying it is going to make the perm solution less effective. Lock damp hair into sections and wrap. Those are not perm rods. I'm supposed to place something on the ends of my hair. No, we're not. We're using clips. When you put the solution in, the curl is gonna turn out the way it's on whatever you're curling it on. So you wanna make sure that it's very neat. So you're not just like perming frizz into your hair. We're using duckbill clips to clip these rollers into your head. I'm sorry, I'm shocked. I have never seen anybody attempt to do a perm with Velcro rollers. I don't even think the Velcro rollers are strong enough to withstand the solution. I think they might melt a little bit. These are so large, it's not gonna do anything to your hair except maybe, maybe if you do it right, give you a little bit of volume. Otherwise, you need to use smaller rods. This is just a waste of your time. And she's using duckbill clips to clip her hair, which is gonna make imprints on the hair. Whatever you have in your hair at the time you're using the perm solution, your hair is gonna be permanently stuck like that. I don't know why I'm explaining this. Don't use this as a tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing. Girl, what the f are we doing, man? These sections are giant. Uh, don't, don't. And why are we directing the hair downwards? You're not gonna get any volume. Okay, here's the next part that we're going wrong with. When you're using a perm solution, you need to literally like stab the rollers with the perm solution and get it all inside of them. Otherwise the hair wrapped around the top is going to get really wet with the perm solution and then the hair inside is not gonna get any of the perm solution. So therefore the curl is gonna be really tight at the top and really loose at the bottom. So now I'm gonna put this little cap on. Oh, girl, girl, la, 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 la. You just put perm solution all over your skin. That is so bad for your skin. It's literally breaking the bonds in your hair. I can only imagine what it's doing to your skin. So now I'm gonna leave this in my hair for 20 minutes. My favorite part is the, there's no rhyme or reason to how she placed the curlers. Like one side it's going backwards, one side's going forwards. It's a mess. She also didn't even do a test strand. You need to see if the solution took properly before rinsing your hair. So you need to take one and kind of push it back to see how the curl pattern's looking or else you might not process it long enough. And I'm just gonna rinse it with warm water for five minutes. And I've just been blotting these dry and then we're gonna put the neutralizer in. Rinsing your hair for five minutes straight is one of the most important parts of doing a perm. You need to make sure you have the hottest water you can handle, rinse it for exactly five minutes, and then completely dry the rods as much as possible before then putting the neutralizer on. I'm kind of curious how perms work. So what I was thinking is, I was like, well, I guess what it could be doing is sort of like calcification and like making like a, almost a crust on your hair and then like, you know, you're neutralizing it to stop it from getting too crusty and stuff like that. That was the best explanation I've ever heard. Just kidding, it was absolutely terrible and it made no sense. I'm really mean today. You are being really mean today. I just wanted to like stop you really quickly and just be like, oh. 
simmer it down. Anyways, I'm gonna continue being mean. Listen, if you don't want Brad Mono to react to your videos, don't post them. What happens when you do a perm? The perm solution reforms the bonds in your hair around the surface you put it on. So if your hair was down straight, you could potentially perm your hair straight. That's actually, you could do that, which is also called a relaxer. They're pretty much the same chemicals. You could also put your hair in a zigzag formation. Your hair would be permanently zigzagged. Anything you want. So when you put the perm solution on, it's breaking the bonds and reforming them, and the neutralizer then hardens the bonds back up into that new position. And that's how your hair stays in this new curly state. All right, so first off, I wanna say that for some reason, the perm solution seemed to strip some of the color in my hair. Like it, it's dyed, so it just took out some of the dye, which is fine. So perm solution often lightens your hair color. So it's kind of annoying, but it's best done on people with virgin hair, honestly. You gotta be careful with that. Some of this formula is really strip out color and your hair color can be very much affected by the perm solution. All right, so you're ready for the reveal. Yes. Can't wait to see it. The final countdown, 27, 26. Oh, We're not waiting. Oh, okay. I think maybe it's a little more wavy. Yeah. But I'm thinking that's just because I kept going like this while it was wet. So I just kind of shaped it. I love it. <laughs> Looks really good. I've always had a little movement in my hair. I've never had pin straight hair, so I don't know if this is more wavy than usual. That's that's it. That was a roller coaster. Definitely no research done before they, they did that. I'm glad her hair didn't fall off. She still looks beautiful. And next time, let's just do smaller rods. Let's take our time with it. Let's do it correctly. Maybe even see a professional. You could do that as well. That was tough to watch. Nothing really went right. Absolutely nothing. Let's move on to the next video. Next up, we have a video by The Henslow Show. And this is called A DIY Perm Gone Wrong. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> it's a Monday and I'm bored. Uh, I said that my hair has been like this for too long. Oh no, his hair's already really bleached and he's gonna do a perm. I was thinking of either just shaving it off or doing something different. So I decided that I'm gonna curl it. You might have to shave it off after this. So. Part my hair in four places and it should be wet, so. Did we shampoo it first though? That's the real question. Did we even do that? Why are you curling your hair? Cause I'm bored. <laughs> We are using end papers though, which is really great. End papers help keep the hair on the ends within the perm rod so they don't just slip out. Okay, that looked like a great little moment with that rod. Okay, never mind. It's a little floppy. He's using the flexible curling rods to do his hair, which is fine. You know, those are usually more for like beach waves and whatever. His hair is a bit too short for this. I would have preferred him to use a very small rod, like a hard rod to do this. He should not be perming his hair while it's been completely bleached from black to blonde. It is such a bad idea. You don't do that. Your hair is going to snap. Especially, I don't even know what that box he just showed was, but it looked like he bought it at some drugstore and I don't know, I just, I don't trust it. This needs to be a bit tighter if he wants it to go well. We're making our way up to the front of the head. I do wish he did the back first, but we're now going into the front. I'm. Um, he's getting better as he goes. It's actually not looking the absolute worst. I'm sure everyone's gonna say it's f***ed up. I didn't do it right. I have like different colors, different sizes everywhere because my hair here is, I don't know, it's really like, it's shorter because of my haircut. Whatever. We'll see how it goes. You literally just put random rods around your head and like, you do understand that your hair is gonna be permanently curled the way you do it right now, right? I hate it here. There's also different kinds of perms that are stronger or less strong or better for colored hair. There's acidic and there's alkaline. So I hope you picked the right one. I don't know what this one is. What in the hell is that? What is he using? I have never in my life seen anything like this. What? My daughter stuff stinks and I, I don't think, they said I can't wash my hair for like three days. This is a foam perm solution. I've never even heard of this. This is so weird and sketchy. Yeah, they said I can't wash it for like three days. Oh, his hair looks nice. My hair is not gonna look like that. Is it supposed to look like that? It's not going to. I am so confused. All right, well, apparently this foam just goes all around your hair like perm solution. It is perm solution, apparently. I don't know. I am baffled. I don't even know what to say because I've never in my life heard of such a thing, ever. So I've um, rinsed it. Rinse the uh, solution out. It's I just ride it over the sink for about like 
three minutes in warm water. It's supposed to be five minutes, not like three minutes. It's supposed to be five minutes you rinse your hair for. I'm gonna get angry in today's video. You guys are gonna see me really pissed off. Everything I'm seeing today is such an absolute nightmare of a mess. Like it is bad. Next step is the neutralizer. It says that I'm supposed to put the neutralizer in a little bowl, which I will. You need to dry your hair first as well. Then I'm supposed to like apply it around. Oh shoot, I don't want it on my face. I've never in my life seen a neutralizer like this, never. Basically, I just put the um, neutralizer in, so I just made it into a little foamy. There's still some straight parts. I hope it's not a big deal. Oh my gosh, my hair looks so dry. I hope it's a tame curl. But I'm applying this conditioner that came in the pack. Hopefully it fixes it. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up shaving my head. <laughs> I feel like my ha hair's melting. It's because it is melting. When you do a perm incorrectly on bleached hair, this is what happens. I just finished washing and conditioning my hair, and and all I can say is, it's a big f up. Oh my god, I look like a matted poodle. Oh no. I was thinking of just cutting it myself, but I'm gonna mess it up even more. So I'm gonna go to the barbers and get it fixed. Since I f***ed up my hair, I got a haircut. Yes! Yes! Oh, it looks so good. God, he cut it all off. There was no saving that hair. I can only imagine what that barber said. He's like, mm, let's... Get rid of it all. Let's not do that ever again. If you do it, please go to a professional and hopefully the person doing it is gonna be like, you cannot color your hair um, before doing this because you know, it's just not a good idea. Go with your virgin hair and get a really tight, beautifully done set and do it correctly and it'll actually look really good. But never do this again. Never ever do it again. Let's move on to the next video. Up next, we have a video by Sunflower Shanna and this is called I Gave Myself a Perm. Hi guys, so I may or may not have decided to perm my hair at home. I thought, you know, I have a cosmetology license so I thought, you know, why not just do it at home? This might be a complete disaster, but yeah. You're telling me you have a cosmetology license. Okay. So you're saying that maybe you might be able to do it correctly. I don't know, I'm not getting that vibe. I'm getting like the opposite kind of vibe for some reason. So I got my hair in the rollers. I did not do a good job, nor did I take my time. I'm just gonna tell you that now. It's gonna come out pretty messy, but I kind of like the messy look. All right. Well, beauty school didn't teach you anything, did it? <laughs> We barely passed, didn't we? Oh, you're about to perm your hair literally as flat as possible. All that hair is being pulled down to the sides, which is going to make your hair flat to your head when it's permed. Also, the placement. There's no rhyme or reason to the placement and the perm rods are not even put in correctly and they're not even like twisted around each other. So what the hell is going on today, guys? Like, I mean, it's hard, yes, to do yourself, but this is like, this is next level laziness with all these videos today. Um, I did not take my time as you can see but it'll do so the next part of this process is to apply the curling lotion so I'm gonna get some scissors and cut the top off of this and I'm just gonna put this all over my head before you ask no I am NOT gonna be putting cotton around my hair yes I am doing this all completely the wrong way because frankly patient and I want to do this now just putting that out there I know I'm sp I know what I'm supposed to be doing I know um, all the hairstylists watching this are probably gonna cringe but just doing me so okay there is where you should have maybe listened to yourself a little bit. A little bit more, okay? I don't know. She knows that she's doing it wrong and she just keeps going and it just gets worse and worse each time she does anything else. You know what I mean? Put cotton on your hair while you do the perm solution? You, girl, you could literally go blind. Okay, it's the moment everyone has been waiting for. It is finally time to see the curls. I'm really nervous. I hope I did this right. So let's just see if it worked. Oh, it's curly. Do you guys see that? I would say f so, this is so chaotic. Here is the result of perming my hair. This is just what it looks like. I really like it. I think it's really pretty. It gives my hair a lot of volume. My hair is usually very flat up top. But yeah, I honestly really do love it. And I think it looks cool. She got away with murder because she did literally everything wrong and it doesn't look horrible. I wouldn't think twice about it if I saw her on the street. I wouldn't be like, whoa, she damaged her hair. You look good. Like, I'm not mad. It doesn't get more chaotic than this. My <laughs> dreams are going to be haunted tonight by perm fails. I hated every second of that. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe if you are not already right down below right there. Make sure you click the bell icon and the like button to be notified every time I post a new video. If you would like to text me, you can at this number right here. Yes, I really do see all your messages and yes, I'll be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. This will also notify you every time I post a new video. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles. Go for it. Check out my hair in Caroline, Xmodo Hair at xmodohair.com. It is linked below. 
you can check out my color and my hair care products at X Mondo Color and X Mondo Hair on Instagram as well. Make sure you guys check out my Live Your Extra Life merch. It is so damn cute. We have so many items and it is available to shop now at xmondohair.com. It is also linked below. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Catherine. She says, hey beautiful, I'm from Seattle, Washington. I love your videos. I was wondering if you could give me some advice about my hair. My hair is very long and wavy and curly. I colored it last year to this dark burgundy color. I really want to try something different, whether it be color cut bangs or whatever. So she's wondering what I should do to her hair. Oh my God, you have a gorgeous curly mane. It is beautiful. I think we need to cut it though. I'm going to say it. I'm going to do it. If you want a big change, we should do a collarbone little haircut moment. I want to see like a blowout on you. I love the curls, but like as a different kind of style, a blowout with some curtain bangs. And I'm thinking for color, I don't know. I want to see you blonde, like a nice caramel honey blonde. It would look amazing. If you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.